Yunlin Skukeng is one of the country's largest producers of bamboo shoots. To rejuvenate the local industry, a young couple returned home to grow bamboo and help reinvent their community. They have helped their neighbors obtain related certifications and adopt friendly growing practices. This year, the pair was named among the top 100 young farmers in Taiwan. The Dapu community in Yunlin Skukeng is a major producer of bamboo shoots. Nearly 80 percent of residents grow the crop. But as the population ages, it's losing its competitive advantage. One young couple moved back six years ago to revitalize their hometown by bringing back the bamboo industry. This year, they were honored as two of the top 100 young farmers in the country. Zhang Huizhu went up north to start a business, but later came back to her hometown to help on the family bamboo farm. That's when she discovered the aging community was no longer able to sustain the workload, leading to the industry's decline. She first set out to help rebuild the community, then three years ago met her boyfriend, Wu Mengru. The two hit it off right away and have made it their mission to restore the industry. I was hoping we could help them manage their farms through contracting. When it's time to weed or fertilize, it's all about being managed so they can sit back a little. They established their own brand and helped other farmers get traceability certifications and adopt friendly farming methods. Next, they hope to expand to all of Gukun so more farmers can benefit. Friendly farming means reducing the impact on the environment. You don't use chemical fertilizers or herbicides. We taught the other farmers. We've also used our own experience in buying and tracing agricultural products to benefit them. It's made them realize they can get more in return if they use these kinds of traceability systems. Wu, who studied environmental engineering in school, introduced a drip irrigation method to ease the labor burden. The bamboo is also processed without preservatives or sulfur dioxide. Instead, it's decontaminated through a high-temperature, high-pressure system that's environmentally friendly and healthy from start to finish. In traditional irrigation, you have to manually go and get a barrel of water during times of drought and just let it flow out. This way it might drain over to the side and go to waste. But with drip irrigation, it takes less labor and is more efficient to manage. Zhang and Wu have returned to their hometown to take on the family legacies. They've taken charge of the nearly defunct co-op and adopted innovative thinking to turn around the ailing business. They've now recruited another five young farmers to join them. Together, they hope to breathe new life into the local bamboo industry.